Welcome back to this video tutorial. We can discuss about various string manipulation instructions and also about flag manipulation and machine controlled instruction. So we can start with string manipulation. String is a series of data byte or word available in memory at consecutive locations. Okay, string is a series of data byte or word available in memory at consecutive location. It is either referred individually or collectively as a byte string or word string. Their memory is always allocated in sequential order. That means this series of data byte or word available in memory at consecutive locations. Okay. Instruction used to manipulate strings are called string manipulation instructions. First example, move SP, moves content of byte given by this DSSI. This indicate the starting address of the data segment in which the displacement value is available through this SI content. This one indicate the destination address, ES indicate the starting address of the extra segment, DI indicate the displacement value in the extra segment to which we want to move the content from this particular address location. So, the exact address is calculated using the formula 10H into DS plus content of SI, destination address 10H into ES plus content of DI. Similarly, we have move SW. That means we can move instead of one byte from the source to destination, we can here move a word of data from the source address to destination address. Okay, next is about REP, repeat instruction prefix. This comes as a prefix to some other instruction. And repeat the given instruction until C is not equal to 0. Okay, so repeat uses an in prefix to some other instruction so that that particular instruction repeat many times until the CX value become 0. Example, here this address location, this address, starting address of the segment is loaded into DS through this AX register. Similarly, the destination segment address 6000 loaded into ES register through this AX and count of the string is represented here in CX. SI and DI is loaded with the corresponding displacement value in data segment and extra segment. CLD is a flag manipulation indicate the clearing of direction flag. If D equal to 0 indicate this is an auto increment mode so that we can uh, uh, access string data one after another in a increment mode of address. Current location access the data from current location then increment the pointer to the next address location forward. That means increment the address value and pointing to the next location from where we can access the data. That means string manipulation takes place from lower address to higher address in an increment mode. If direction flag value equal to 1 that indicate an auto decrement mode that means string manipulation start from higher address to lower address in a decrement mode. Okay. This is the use of REP or repeat prefix. REP is prefixed with this move SP. That means perform data transfer from source position to the destination repeatedly until CX value becomes 0. And initially CX is set with this count. So each execution, after each execution of this move SP, decrement the count value CX by 1 and so that repeat until CX becomes 0. This is the use of this repeat. Similarly, we have REPE or REP set. Repeat the given instruction by 0 or equal or 0 flag equal to 0. Sorry, 0 flag equal to 1. This 0 flag equal to 1 indicate the equal case. Okay. So, here we need to consider CX value as well as the 0 flag value also. Similarly, here also in REP N set. Or REP any not equal to or not zero. This instruction uh, repeat while zero flag equal to not equal or not zero. Not equal and not zero is represented by the zero flag equal to zero case. And equal case is represented by the value of zero flag equal to one. Here we need to consider 
cx value also and repeat the you know, execution until cx value equal to 0 as well as we need to consider the zero flag value also here. Next is about a comparison cmps string comparison okay compare string byte by byte or word by word compare byte at this particular location with byte at this particular location and set the zero flag value according to the set zero flag and the carry flag value according to the result if both the strings are completely equal then cx value becomes zero zero flag is set okay if both the strings are completely not equal then cx value becomes zero and zero flag value become zero okay cmpsb indicate compare byte by byte cmpsw indicate compare word by word next is about scan instruction scan string byte dot string word scan sp is scan byte by byte scan sw compare the word at this particular location with a word available in ax register and after execution set the values of flags scan sb compare the byte at this particular location with al register content and set the flags according to the result length of the string is stored in cx whenever a match is found in the string execution stops and zero flag is set if no match is found the zero flag is in reset actually this instruction is used for uh, checking whether a given substring is available in a pointed location okay we need to perform the scan until uh, we uh, reach or complete this length of this particular length of string given in this cx register okay repeat the scan until this cx value becomes zero and check whether the given substring available in ax is present in that particular location or not okay move ax with a segment address value and ax value uh, sorry move ax with a label that label indicate the starting address of the ES register. Okay, so that starting address is loaded in ES using this instruction and offset value is loaded into DI. Count of string is set in CX and move the word, word to check or word we want to scan in the location pointed by this ES and DI which is loaded into AX. Here we follow auto increment mode that is why this clear D instruction. Clear D instruction means make the D value equal to 0. Okay. Now we need to repeat this scan SW instruction. Okay. Repeat this until CX equal to 0. So repeat the scanning. Okay. Repeat the scanning for this AX value is present in the pointed location from the pointed location until cx equal to 0 check for whether the value of ax is available there or not if the value or the string present in ax is available in that particular set of sequence of location starting from a location which is pointed by this esdi until cx becomes 0 we set the zero flag indicate that a match is obtained otherwise zero flag become zero indicate a no match is obtained in that particular location so we can continue the scanning from the next position onwards okay once more the uh, substrate to be check for a match is available in ax and the destination index is pointed to a particular location from where we can start this esti point to a particular location inside the extra segment we can start from there the scanning procedure okay so before cx becomes zero if the value or the string available in ax is found in that particular sequence of string starting from this particular location then make the zero flag equal to one indicate a match if zero flag not equal to uh, one that indicate no match available in that position okay so this way we can continue the scanning operation 
in order to find whether a given substring available in a main string or not. Next is about load S. Load string byte or string word to a given location. That means load the content of AX or AL register to a string pointed by this DS SI register pair. The SI is modified automatically depending upon the direction flag value. If DF equal to 0, it perform auto increment. If DF equal to 1, it perform auto decrement. Load SB means load byte by byte to the destination location pointed by this SI. Okay. And SI value SI EI. Sorry, DS and SI. Load byte by byte from the AX to the location pointed by this DS and SI. And value of SI is updated based on the value of direction plan. Here, perform loading word by word. Using uh, executing this instruction, no flags get affected. Next is about the stored string byte or string word instruction. This is just the opposite of loading. We can store the AX AL register conduct to a location specified in the string pointed by this one. In this Next is about the load S instruction. Here the AX or AL register is loaded by the string pointed by this DS or SI register pair. Okay. The source value is available in this particular location. That value is loaded into AX or AL based on the load instruction. Load SW indicate byte by byte loading from the pointed location to the AX register, sorry, AL register and a load SW indicate word by word loading to the AX register from the pointed location. Here SI value is updated based on the value of direction flag. If it is 0, SI get incremented in order to support auto increment mode of manipulation. And if D equal to 1 indicate, this is in a auto decrement mode. So after each transfer, SI is decremented by 1 to point to the next location. In this operation, no flags get affected. Similar, we have the store instruction also. Store S, store byte, string byte or string word. Store the content from AX or AL register to a location pointed by this ESDI. Okay, DI is modified based on the value of direction flag, whether it is 0 or 1. 0 means auto increment. One means auto decrement. No flags are affected by this instruction execution. So all these are about the string manipulation. Next is about the flag manipulation. We have different flags and different instruction for manipulating, setting and resetting this value. CLC means clearing carry flag, making carry flag value equal to zero while executing this instruction. CMC complementing the carry flag. Whatever value present in the carry flag uh, after executing the CMC, the value get complemented. STC set the carry flag. This instruction execution make the carry flag value equal to 1. CLD clear the direction flag. This execution make the direction flag value equal to 0. STD set the direction flag. Make the direction flag value equal to 1. C and I clear the interrupt flag, make interrupt flag value equal to 0. Set I set the interrupt flag, make the value of interrupt flag as 1. Okay, so these are string uh, flag manipulation instruction in order to set and resetting certain flags. Next is about various machine control instruction or processor control instruction in order to control the processor activities. Wait, this wait. Uh, instruction wait for or make the processor in a wait state until the test input pin value go to low okay this test value equal to 1 means the processor continue in a wait state and this value become low the processor start the or continue the execution halt means stop the processor activity 
no means no operation that means usually in the first four clock cycle processor does not perform any operation ex except for the increment of interrupt pointer by one okay so that case is that situation is indicated by this nop escape means escape to an external device like a coprocessor or something which is present in the periphery escape the control from the processor to the peripheral unit that is indicated by this escape lock means lock the internal bus structure of the processor in order to start certain communication by the peripheral devices so these are some machine control instruction now uh, we have covered almost all the instructions of 8086 so very well okay thank you